Boom. Case closed. We're good? Yeah, there was another, I forget where exactly it was from, but <laughs> that he said it was the stupid, the notion that they have ruined basketball was the stupidest sentence go. that he'd ever heard. I, that was in another interview that he did. He did a bunch of media. There it is, the dumbest phrase ever from dumbest USA Today. Dumbest phrase ever. Here's the thing. I would feel that way if I were him too. The, the, the Warriors aren't doing anything wrong. That's the point. They are the, they are the culmination of a perfect storm of circumstances, which is to say they put together a magnificent team. They took a player in Steph Curry that a lot of people didn't believe in, a guy in Klay Thompson who no one saw coming, and a guy in Draymond Green who I didn't think was going to be an NBA player at all when I watched him in college. Huh? And they turned that into a team that won 73 games. So all the credit in the world to them. Then... Because of a fluky, crazy, once-in-a-lifetime year, based on the way the salary cap jumped, they were able to add Kevin Durant and give up practically nothing to do it. And now, because of a blown Achilles and, and a variety of other crazy circumstances, they're able to add maybe the most talented center in the NBA for next to no money. So they are the product of a perfect storm yes. of circumstances mm -hmm. that will never happen again. I hope will never happen again. But to me, it does take a lot of the fun out of what's happening in basketball. We, we had a conversation yesterday, Beatle, about, about the significance of Paul George right. staying in Oklahoma City. And the answer is, well, it's really not that significant because no one can play with Golden State anyway. That's what I mean when I say it's ruining basketball. Well, it can't last forever, right? I mean, everything is cyclical, and yep. there have been dynasties through all the sports in time. Um, so realistically, I would ask you guys, what year? How many years down the road do you think that this actually becomes a mountain that can be moved? Eight. Eight? I mean, I, I, I don't I don't see Clay going anywhere next year, I do you? I can't imagine. I can't either. Would. I mean, I don't see. I mean, a lot of people are saying, well, KD is going to go off and establish himself, which but I don't get. I don't think so either. KD's okay with being playing. He, he's okay with playing with other great players. <laughs> I can see this happen for another four years. Yeah, four or five four, years, five? and that would be eight. Four or five years. So, so wow. you, you had you had the Bulls who won the six titles in eight years, and everyone in Chicago will still say minimum eight, Pete, my friend. If Jordan had retired sure. and gone away and yep. come back, that they might have won eight championships in a row. That, that was the lifespan of that run, and that got broken up by a variety of external circumstances also. If these guys keep it together, why wouldn't they be the best team in the NBA for the next four years? Why not? They're going to be. And win three more titles in the next, let, let's say realistically, three more titles in the next four years, which would give them six in eight years, which is exactly what the Bulls did in the 90s. Well, I, I think they have a chance to be a dominant team, but there's also a lot of other things that can happen. I mean, here's one of the things I do love about this situation, and Steph said it when he said that it's the age of the player, where the player is making the decision on where they want to go. So we talked about this yesterday with OKC. You have Russell Westbrook and you have Paul George. If some other big-time free agent says, ah, I want to join up, then you're talking about a different scenario. If another big-time free agent goes to James Harden and CP3 and says, ah, I want to pony up. I mean, we're still going to have everything out west, but I like the fact that these storylines are continuing to play a major role and that it is feasible to put together a team that could dethrone Golden State. Like, there are teams that are closer than once were. Because yes. I think for a minute there, it seemed like the Warriors just were so much above everybody else. But I feel like, like you're talking about, the Houston has put together a nice team that might be just one piece. So, I mean, look, they, Chris Paul right doesn't there. get hurt. We have no idea. They might not, mm -hmm. Warriors might not even gone to the finals. That being said... There are teams that are closer than they once were, and I think that makes it a little more interesting. And I – look, as a Spurs fan, I should be more angry about this. I'm just not. I mean, we've seen teams sort of monopolize winning in leagues for a while, and then they don't. And then we move on to whatever the next thing is, and this just happens to be the Warriors' time. So, for whatever reason, I'm very calm about the whole thing. I don't think it's ruining anything. I'm still 100% all in basketball. I'm going to say something that probably blew a lot of people away, and I know Golden State has to be the overwhelming favorite next year to win the whole thing. But I'm, I'm rolling with Boston. If Kyrie and Gordon Hayward are healthy, I think they have all the pieces to beat Golden State, even with Boogie Cousins, if he's healthy. I don't think that's crazy. And, and I'm all in with basketball, too. I don't mean to give the impression that I'm not. He hates it. The sport it. Is, has never been in a, be in a variety of ways, has never been in a better place. <laughs> I am, however, concerned about the – I think that Adam Silver's idea about reseeding at the oh, Final Four it. is it's a brilliant. fantastic yes. idea. And I'd love to see them do that sooner rather than later if they can somehow get that in immediately. Would love that. Where it happens this year, I wouldn't mind seeing that happen. Because I, I think the anticlimactic nature of this year's NBA final was the one downer. It was bad. And what was otherwise a 
sensational year. If you take the, the finals that we got, that the Western Conference finals that we had this year between Houston and Golden State, and yes. you made that the NBA finals, yes. we'd be talking about whether it was the greatest final series ever played. Agreed. That's the conversation we would have been having here. Uh, well, you and Jalen would have been there, and we would have been back here. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the conversation that people would have been having. So that would be fine. If they can find a way to, and, and everything will be fine. I don't suggest that it's not going to be fine. But I believe that this team, being as good as it is, takes a little bit of the fun away from it for me. That's, that's as far as I'm willing to, as far as I'm trying Imagine being a Warriors go. fan, though. Oh, the you're greatest time of your life. Just Enjoy recruit it. everybody. Everybody Enjoy come it. here to Golden State. Well, that, there, there have been a lot that have done that. 